In this tutorial, I'm just going to give you a very brief description on what's involved in terms of the databases for the Garmin G1000 or, for that matter, any type of electronic display. There's going to be certain databases you need to get, and they come in cycles. Each database has its own time frame for a cycle, a cycle being every 28 days or every 56 days. And you can usually, what you'll do is you'll get them from the manufacturer. The manufacturer gets it from probably one of three sources. One of them is definitely going to be the FAA. The other one's going to be possibly Jepson, and the third is uh, AOPA. And that'll give you information about airports, nav aids, obstacles, terrain, airport information in terms of hours of operation, services available, important stuff, and stuff that you need to have uh, or you want to have current in the airplane. And they'll provide it for you. You pay for the subscription. You usually download it from the website and you'll put it on an SD card because remember there's a slot for SD cards on most of these devices and you'll have the unit turned off like we have now. You can take the SD cards out of the slot, plug it into a programming device on your computer, download the latest database, pop them back into your flight display, power it back on and on initialization it will recognize the fact that there's a new file and it will ask you um, do you want to in install the new file you'll tell it yes and it will go through its whole setup I can't do that here on this simulator because obviously there's no way for me to take these cards out um, but what I can show you is what it looks like when we power up the unit so let's give that a shot and here we can see it's initializing and it's going through its uh, um, initialization process and we can see here it's going through and checking these files now here we can see it's a worldwide land database we've got a worldwide terrain database a US airport terrain database and it also gives us little footnotes like this terrain database is provided only as an aid to situational awareness. We have an obstacle database and it says here cycle 05B6 effective to 27 October 2005. And then we've got one here for the worldwide aviation database and these are the dates that they're effective. And then look here on the bottom it tells us in yellow the aviation database is out of date and if we want to and we have really have no choice, we can continue to accept a database cycle or we can put in a new SD card and update it. Now my understanding is that if you're flying IFR and this is when these databases become super critical, you can fly with an out-of-date database. However, as the pilot in command, it's your responsibility to have a source of data that is up to date so maybe you have paper charts and you can go through all the waypoints that you plan on using for your flight and all the diversion airports that you might plan for contingencies and if you check with your uh, one source that is up to date against the out of date information on the G1000 and everything matches up in that case in that case only you can continue to fly IFR with an out of date database but I could be wrong and it could change so depending on when you see this video and how long it's been since I've made it uh, double check for what I've just told you now we can hit the enter key to accept it down here this soft key and now we're in the primary flight display mode and you can see that there's some terrain that are obstacles here because we're at a low altitude so it's warning us so that's all there really is to the um, aspects of the databases and hopefully every time you turn on the unit and you see those things scrolling by it's not a mystery as to what's going on you understand that it's loading the databases from those SD cards and it's verifying them and telling you what's going on so that's all there is to it it's that simple and once again I'm using the Garmin G1000 trainer which you can download from their website and I believe it's 30 bucks and I highly recommend it